Hi, this is Kurt Barone, and welcome to another edition of File Law Roundup. Um, so now we just have another complaint uh, in Arizona. Um, and I think it's good because there's so many talking points on this, but let me just summarize what the allegations are. The allegations is that there's a firefighter, again, in Arizona. She was terminated ultimately. Okay, so how did she get to the point of termination and what's the basis so of her she, suit? She or he, I think, so I think it's a he. Oh, I thought it was a she. Is that a he? I think it's a he, yeah. Oh, okay, it's a he. I can't, can't totally tell. Um, so in any event, the firefighter. Um, so, because it's Shannon, Shannon Glenn. Yeah, yeah. Shannon's a he? I believe so. One, go ahead and you oh. talk and I'll let me well, in any event, it, again, whatever my, it is. My recollection the, was it was a he. OK, the firefighter. Um, here's the basic facts, but they're important. They're what I pull out. So the firefighter applies for the job, a job as a new firefighter on the job. Mr. Glenn, um, it's, a, it's a male. Yes. OK, um, so I was not. Anyway, um, okay, so um, on the application for the first time, he uh, he fills out an application and says, do you have any prior discipline? And he says, yes. And he answers the question, says, yes, and I want to talk about it. And he's then interviewed about the prior discipline. And then, right, so, and he's hired. He goes a couple more rounds and ultimately he's hired. Works for uh, the fire department and then ultimately becomes a union rep. And as a union rep is very vocal, as they are and probably should be, about alleged improper practices and disparities and how overtime's calculated, whatever, but raises, you know, proper, uh, presumably proper allegations, um, and then applies for a promotion, or I may get this order a little mixed up, but in any event, applies for a promotion, the same question is on the promotional exam. So... Um, and I do have this because promotional application. Yeah. Yep. 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 And yep. Um, the application asks the same exact question, and the firefighter um, on the application or whatever uh, um, questionnaire answers the same, right? Yes, I do, and would really like to talk about it. So within a three day period, I think this is what is really um, going to be the uphill battle for the um, for for the fire department, right? Within three days of this whole thing taking place, um, she, the, he gets fired. He had made complaints about union issue, workplace pay and et cetera issues, and then gets fired within three days of making those comments, allegedly. Again, this is all allegedly. We don't know yet. Just a claim. But gets fired. And the basis for the termination is you lied on your application which that's going to be very tough to me looking just at a, you know, 100, 100 foot view here. You hired somebody under the same question, answered almost identically twice. You hired the person, didn't say they were lying then, right? You didn't fire them at any point. And now you get the same question. And yet within three days or so of some trouble, the union person's creating for you, you now turn around and use uh, maybe, maybe a um, an answer to a question that really wasn't false or didn't cause you an issue the first time. Now, listen, in fairness, if there was a lie both times, but you only caught it the second time, hey, you can fire somebody. They lied, they lied. It's not pretextual. But that's the whole question. Is Is the you know, the alleged lie on the answer, is that pretextual or was it accurate? And that's what we're going to see. Um, that's a fact question, but it, you know, if nothing more, and again, this is just the lawsuit, right? So you're only getting one side, but it looks bad. And the burden is going to shift to the employer to say, no, no, you really did lie. We can prove the lie. We didn't catch it the first time because, and it matters to us now. And I think um, the assumption here is that the lie was about the termination from his prior fire department, but the lie could have been something totally different. And the accused is trying to say, no, this is why they fired me. And the fire department is going to say, no, that's not why we fired you. This is why we fired you. So we, again, we only get half the story. We're not a hundred percent sure of what, um, you know, what the, what the fire department's response is going to be here. Right. And, and, and really look, the hard part is it all happened in such a short couple of days. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Um, that's, that's the, what, that's the head scratcher, right? When somebody says, okay, why? And, um, oh, if, if, if you're going to, if you're going to go back, let's say you have an employee who's creating union problems for you 
Okay. That's not the time to go back and look at their application <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> to see if you can find a problem. Right. Um, you may want to, you may be tempted to, but there's a timing uh, issue that, uh, you know, has to be taken into account. Yeah, I, it, it, it just looks bad. But but look, we you and I have said, I think we said last week, right? If you really have a basis to terminate someone, don't be afraid. Just document, 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 right? But um, this one is 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 an uphill battle for, I think, for the fire department. But again, as you said, we only got one side. 